Hi, this is another episode of the Magic of Go series. And in this video, we'll talk about a shape that is not really some incredible to Suji. But judging by the amount of mistakes that people make with the shape, it could appear very magical. So please welcome the one and only, the terrible, bend four in the corner. Let's go. So the shape in question is this one. It's a bend four, and as you can see, it's alive. White has those two mei points in the middle. If black takes one of them, white takes the other and lives. And it doesn't really matter where or how or which way you put this on the board, it's still gonna be the same. Just anywhere, literally anywhere, except when it gets to the corner. But it's not just any random position in the corner. For example, all of these three shapes are bent fours and they're all in the corners, but all of these three white groups are alive. So even in the corner, there's only one position that matters. It's this one. If it's white's turn, white can live easily by playing anywhere in the middle. But if it's black's turn, white can't live unconditionally here. Black will play inside. And because of the special properties of the corner, white has to play here and black will capture. Atari and Ko. Now white has to look for a Ko threat and if it's not big enough, black will capture everything. Here white has no outside liberties. And if white has one, nothing really changes. But if white has two or more, it's not even Ko. Black will play inside. White does the same thing. Black captures, but now White doesn't have to play Ko anymore. White has enough liberties to simply Atari and squeeze black. This connection is a suicide, so the only thing that black can do is just Atari from the outside, white captures, and white is alive. So it's a simple direct Ko. Anybody can read this. Why are we even talking about this? What's the catch? It's not about this position by itself. It's about some other shapes that can be reduced to this one. For example, these three. These shapes really look like Seki, except they're not. Let's look at this one, for example. It's a kind of one-sided Seki because white really can't do anything here. If white ever tries to Atari from either side, black will connect, and now it's a dead shape. White dies. The same happens with the Atari from the other side. So white can't play anything. What about black? It seems like black can't play anything either but it's not quite true. Let's imagine that black and white continue playing this game and somewhere at the end, black will fill these liberties. And after this, black will start eliminating all the possible weaknesses in his position one by one, all the possible co-threats for white. And after all of the weaknesses are gone, black will connect here. And now, white will pass, and black can play either here or here. Atari, white captures, and voila, we are back to the bend four shape. Now black will invade, white plays here, and black starts the ko. And black is really well prepared for this ko. There are no ko threats for white, which means that black wins this ko easily and without a fight. And none of this is actually going to happen because everything I just told you is purely theoretical. So we take it all back. And in the real game, black doesn't have to do any of this because according to the Japanese rules, this white group is already dead. Yes, black doesn't have to fill any liberties. Black doesn't have to connect here. Black doesn't have to eliminate any of the code threats. White is simply dead. And of course, if um, let's say white has some stones in the vicinity and then white can escape, white will live. Or for example, uh, black has a weakness in his outside position and white can cut and maybe capture black, then of course white will live. But if black is strong on the outside, and white is locked in the corner and can't escape, then white simply dies. 
And the same is true for all of these shapes as well. This one seems like Seki, but after black fills these liberties, black can play here and turn this into a band 4. White will capture and it will be Ko. And the same thing is here. This really looks like Seki. But again, after filling these liberties, black will play here and white will have to capture and Ko. And I suggest that you remember these shapes because they occur very often in real games and this will save you a lot of time. Because now you don't have to think, do you have to play, do you not have to play, is it Seki, is it Ko, what is it? Now you will know for sure that the Japanese rules state that these groups are dead. This is the unfair cruelty of the Japanese rules. And if you're playing with the Chinese rules, for example, all of this can be resolved very easily because not only the territory is counted, but also every stone you place on the board. So you can easily fill all the liberties, you can eliminate all of the co-threats, and you can do all that without losing a single point, point of territory. And after that, you simply win this co. But this wouldn't really be go magic if I didn't show you a really cool way of living with a shape, even though the Japanese rules state that it's dead. Check it out. This shape is exactly the same. But here there's also this corner. Black and white are both alive on this double co here. But what it means for the game is that white has an unlimited supply of co threats. So even with the Japanese rules, this group is not dead yet. This co threat is not small at all, and there's no way for black to eliminate this. So black has to either let go or play the co. It's time for some problems, and here's another one for you to solve. Black to play. What's going to happen in this corner? And now let me show you the solution to the problem from the previous video. It's black's turn. Black has a stone inside and one stone in the first line, so we have to use them both somehow. The first move is obvious. Atari. White connects. Black connects. Now, white can't Atari from here. Black takes away this eye and this is a dead shape. So as before, White has to maximize the eye space by playing here. Atari, white connects, and here comes the Tsuji. Black plays here. White has to capture, and it seems that white lives, but this is under the stones. Atari, black captures these five stones, and white doesn't have a single eye. More Go miracles are coming in the next episode, and I'll see you very soon. This is Go Magic.